Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. It is Friday, June 2nd, 2023, here in Salem, Oregon. So it's supposed to be in the high 70s today, so another perfect day. I am drinking my coffee with hazelnut creamer. Okay, I am continuing on with The Golden Valley by Chuck Penson. This is a 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 39 by 70 centimeters. square drills, full canvas, <clears throat> and 53 colors, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> with two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, which is a type of diamond with a unique rainbow-like effect. They reflect light in a way that creates an iridescent, multicolored sparkle on the canvas. I am going to attempt to do a whip and chat. I'm really having to concentrate on this canvas. Now, what I found out when I did the first section, it was too big a section for me. And it's because you have a lot of color change. And so I think because you're having to change colors all the time and you miss spots and whatnot, um, I thought, okay, I'm just gonna do a small area. So that's what I've done. I've just marked this little square off and this I don't even know what size area I'm doing. Um, and it may be different with each area that I do. I just, you know, just, okay, I'm going to do this little part here. So this part is two and a half by three and a half. Yeah, so, and I started in this corner, and I'm just kind of working my way down. And also, um, because the symbols are not the same, but kind of close sometimes, so I have to kind of concentrate on that also. So I thought I would do a quick whip and chat because I have to leave no later than a quarter to seven to take Ellie to the vet because today's her surgery. And then her appointment time is um, 7.15. And by the time we get her checked in and all that good stuff, probably be at least 7.30 and then I'm going to go to Walmart which is right next door and then I figure it'll take me about
at the most an hour at Walmart, and then I'm going to get gas, and then I'm going up the street to uh, Hobby Lobby when they open at 9. And then... Um, sorry, I'm concentrating here. And then I'm coming back home and I will wait for the vet to call me. When the surgery's done, they call and tell you when you can come pick them up, which because she's going under probably won't be until later in the afternoon, I would say around four or five. That's usually how it goes. And she can't have breakfast. And she is next to me telling me that it is breakfast time. Why aren't you feeding me? <laughs> so I watched Becky Sloan's video. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Apparently, those parchment papers do not work on this canvas. And she has a mess that she's dealing with. Now, I have used those papers before on my budget-friendly paintings and had no issues whatsoever. So, the only thing I can think is that this is a different glue. Luckily, I do have the Diamond Art Club cover sheets. So that's what I'm using. I usually use my silicone mats, which I do have down here, but because I'm doing small areas, I don't have them cut to do small areas. However, because I do have quite a few large paintings, I might take my big um, mat that I have and go ahead and cut it into smaller squares. And then I can use them. Oh, you know, this cover paper is fine. It's just not as colorful as what the others that I have. Although I could decorate them. I got something going on here. All right, this needs to come up. That one needs to go down. This upper area is difficult for me because it's up farther
so I may have to do some a little bit of adjusting and bring the canvas down more so that I can see better. Using the squares takes some getting used to when you're used to round. And so it is taking me a little bit longer. Like I said, I did that one square and that took me about six hours. And um Just because, I mean, there is just so much confetti that um, I'm hoping doing the smaller areas will make this go a little bit faster. And I did a lot of starting and stopping yesterday. <laughs> You know, in fact, I think what I'm going to do right now, oh. hey, my computer decided it wanted to start on its own. I am going to try to roll this. is kind of a trial and error. At the beginning, now I know some people are rolling their canvases the other way than what I did. Not for sure why, what difference it makes. So let's see if it does. Well, mine rolls better this way. That's what I'm going to do. I've got this rolled out. I've dropped some drills down in here in the rolled area. <laughs> so I'm going to find those quick. Okay, I don't think I see any more. There's only two down there. Here we go. Okay, so I got that rolled up to there. some smaller clips. Okay, what's going on? There we go. Okay. I 
I do need, the way I have this rolled now, I need smaller clips. Hold it for right now. Hmm. The plot thickens. Well, uh. <laughs> Maybe the bear. I'm having to hold the canvas here. This is a two-person job, not a one-person job. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, but um, I'm just trying to roll this canvas and clip it. These clips are hard for me to open. That week, right. oh, oh, that's better. Okay, let's bring you down. So I moved it so it's here where I can actually reach the canvas. That's what I do with my other paintings. I move them down and then, because my chair is up all the way. Ugh. All right, so. Problem is that clip is not flat. So it's going to make that move a little bit. Hmm. Ooh, that might fit in there. Ooh, it does. All right. <laughs> okay. There we 
go. Oh, that's a lot better. Now I can see what I'm doing. Those are all crooked. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. I need to move you over just a tad. I'm sure these will straighten out when I get some more drills on there. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely has a learning curve to it. <laughs> Even though I've been diamond painting for five years, I've done, I'm getting close to 300 paintings. It's, you know, but each painting is different. And I've never done one this big before. And I got one other one that's this big. So, yeah. But I am thrilled to be doing it. And just really I lost my tray. Um what in the world happened to my tray? I have to get a new one out. I'm switching up trays constantly because I'm trying to find one that I really like that is fitting these square drills. And it's funny because I've heard other ones saying, oh, I have a favorite tray. This one's perfect. And I thought, Hmm. I just use whatever. Um, I mean, I don't use the green ones because they don't have a a spout on them. I know there was another A. Where did I see it? I know you're screaming at me. It's right there, right in front of you. I could have sworn there was another A. Oh well, it'll pop up later. It'll still be there waiting for me. Um, so yeah, uh, now I've used a white tray, a clear tray. Um, so I got here. I guess just the white and clear. Now I'm using the gray. Alright, so we want an arrow going to the left. Number 40. I was watching um, Becky when she was kidding up and explaining her thought process <laughs> on um, how she is um, place um you know, how she's got her drills in order. And it's like, you lost me. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> and you know, I envy people who have that ability to put things in order like that. I just, for me, it's just easier to have them one, two, three, four, five, you know, as on the, um, on the chart. And I know some people put symbols. They don't put numbers or anything. You know, they, I mean, they put the symbol on their thing. They don't put numbers like what I do. Um, but it is interesting to watch everybody's technique because everybody has their own little thing that, that is best for them in diamond painting. And what works for them may not work for you. What works for me probably won't work for you. But this is just the way that I have diamond painted from the very beginning. So... My reasoning may be completely different. I keep having to look over at the chart to make sure that I am. Okay, number 40 is the arrow going to the left. <laughs> make sure I'm doing the right thing and not getting confused. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think I've ever done a diamond painting with this much confetti before. I mean, I've had confetti, but not like this. So that's why I'm hoping doing a smaller area will help. And I think moving the canvas down, that's going to really help me. Yeah, it's just going to be trial and error, moving and manipulating this huge canvas. Okay, my 30 minutes is about done. I'm sorry this wasn't very exciting. Um, I'll probably be back after I take Ellie, and I'll let you know if I found anything at whoops, Hobby Lobby. More than likely, I'll come back empty-handed. And that's okay. I've got to have to keep me busy for a while. At least on this canvas. <laughs> Okay, you guys have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. Thanks for stopping by. The sun just came out. So I will talk to you later.